Hey there folks, Paul Markle with Student of the Gun, and yes, I am the best grandpa ever. That's not what I want to talk to you about today. Today we're going to talk about AKs and a potential hazard or a caution that you need to take if you have an AK, especially an old AK. Now, back in the olden days, back in the 70s, 80s, and early 90s, particularly 80s and early 90s, you could count the number of U.S. manufacturers of AKs on one hand missing some fingers. So, well, how did AKs get into the United States? They got into the United States by importers. They would import civilian legal AKs. Then we have the great Clinton crime ban that eliminated all crime from the United States of America. Oh, that's right, it didn't. But it's sunset, so for 10 years, we had to fart around with pre-ban this and post-ban that and so on and so forth. Well, after 2004, the crap bill sunset and we could have AKs again, we could have AKMs. Now what happened after the Soviet Union broke apart? The Soviet Union broke apart and you had all these small countries now, you know, Bulgaria and, you know, the Czech Republic and, you know, Slovakia and all, all these guys, Poland and so forth. And uh, they needed money, they were cash starved, but they had guns, they had arms, right? They had pistols, and rifles, and all kinds of stuff, and they had pieces and parts. So what a lot of companies did is they started importing parts kits from the former Soviet Union, tons and tons and tons of part kits, and then they would assemble them and make, well, U.S. civilian legal AKM rifles, right? Well, one of the parts that came in these part kits often was a selector lever. You're like, duh, I know what an AK selector lever is, Paul. I'm not an idiot. Yeah, but this one right here in my hand is a full auto selector lever. You're like, well, a full auto selector lever doesn't make an AK full auto. No, not all by itself. No, it doesn't. Can you put a full auto selector lever into a semi-auto AK like this one here from Century? This is the BFT-47, it's a brand new gun. Uh, can you put a full auto selector into a semi-auto gun and have it work just fine? On, off, off, on. Yes, yes you can. Now here's the uh, problem or here's the caution or here's the hazard. If you're on you're the range, you're on the range and uh, you're shooting, 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 you know, boom, 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 you're running your AK and you, you're, you're all amped up, you got that gorilla strength and you take your hand and the safety's down and you get your gloves on and you, whoo, you pull it up. Let's say that safety is a little bit loose or it catches the lip and it goes up above over the dust cover. Here's what's going to happen if it's one of these. If it's a full auto, uh, if it's this design with a hole in it, this is going to override the disconnect on your trigger. And even though you, know, you did this, you had this hand up here, you had this hand down there, you swipe it up, it goes up there, click, boom! This mother lover, if it has a round chamber, is going to go off. Now, with brand new guns, American made guns, or new manufactured guns, it's not going to be an issue. But old guns made with old part kits, it may be an issue. You say, well, oh man, I, I traded a dude some stuff, uh, you know, and he, for an AK, and I have, I've had an AK for 20 years, or 15 years, or 10 years, or whatever. You don't know. It's super easy to figure it out. You just push in the detent right here, the takedown, and Take off the dust cover, pull out the spring. You don't even need to take the bolt out. You can take the, what you do, you take the safety, you rock it up 90 degrees, and you pull it out. It's super simple, like that. So this is a semi-auto. This is a semi-auto selector lever for an AK. And this one right here is a full auto. And they are not exactly the same. They are similar, but they are not exactly the same. Now, you noticed when I rotated this up, the hammer uh, was cocked in the trigger. It did not affect, okay, it didn't affect the hammer and it, didn't allow, it did not override the disconnector. So, just a word to the wise. Uh, if you don't know, like I said, this is a new gun. This is the BFT-47. Uh, and a new, if you got a new manufacturer, uh, AK is probably not going to be an issue. But if you have an older gun that was made with imported part kits, you might have one of these in there. And you might want to pop off the dust cover and just check. Now, do these work just fine? Yeah, they work. 
But like I said, there is that hazard. If it goes up and over too far, this will release the trigger. So what can you do? Well, if you're really concerned about it and you want to get a new one, go online. Uh, and thanks to my buddy Brian Keeney from Occam Defense for hipping me and, and kind of explaining all this to me. Uh, you can go online and buy these for $19.95, a semi-auto, just basic, plain Jane, regular select lever, and you can swap them out, Bob's your uncle, and you're done, all right? So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, just a word to the wise. Uh, you need to know stuff like this, and uh, that's why we're here at Student of the Gun. Remember, you're a beginner once, a student for life.